Welcome to the next script tutorial. In this segment, I am going to show you how to take backup or clone the operating system hard disk to an another empty hard disk. So for that, I am going to use a tool called Redo. And I have taken two hard disks, one is switched into its operating system and the empty hard disk. So by using the Redo tool, I am going to clone the CentOS to an empty hard disk and restore the same to its back. So at first to download the Redo tools ISO image from its official website and make it boot bootable in CD or USB. So I have booted up in USB. So here you can see the two hard disk and the hard disk in port 0 is an empty hard disk and port 2 is with CentOS. So this I'm going to boot this Redo in USB. Hit enter to start the Redo backup. So at the first page, it will show the backup and restore tabs. So if you want to take backup or clone, you can choose the backup or else you can choose the restore. So now I am choosing the backup and at first it will ask for the hard disk selection. At this selection, you have to choose the source hard disk. That is which hard disk you are going to take backup. That hard disk you have to choose here. So here I am going to choose the CentOS hard disk and hit next. So in that hard disk I have created three partitions. So if you want to take three partitions you can check all these three and give next. So here you need to specify the destination drive that is where to save the uh, cloned backup. So I am choosing the another empty hard disk and hit next. So you can create some directory to save the image file in destination hard disk. So here I am going to create a new directory called new redo backup. So after the name is typed, just hit enter and click save here. So now the respective folder will be displayed and hit next. And here you need to, you need to specify the image name. So I am giving the same new redo backup and hit next. So now the backup is started. So once the cloning is done, it will specify the estimated time. So thus the backup is taken. So now we have to reboot. So just go to the uh, power icon and click reboot. And now go to the boot menu. And now I am selecting the CentOS hard disk. So once it's logged in, open the terminal and mount the empty hard disk into the CentOS to view the image what we have taken before. So now I am mounting the empty hard disk to this hard disk. So we can list the hard disk available in the system by using fdisk command. And here you can see uh, sdb is my CentOS and sdc is the pen drive and sda is then empty hard disk. So I am going to mount sda device. So mount the device name and the local destination path so second HTT so now the hard disk is mounted we can check by using DFI finish command so I am going into that folder so there you can see the new redo backup what we have cloned now is there so we can see the contents inside that folder So these image files contains all the partitions, configurations what we have made in CentOS operating system. So thus the CentOS is completely taken a backup as an image and stored in another location. So next I am going to remove some directories and after restoring the image we can check that the respective directories are restored or not. So I am going to remove some directories in slash. So by using rm-rf command I am removing home directory and uh, removing the lib directory and mnt directory and opt directory and now I am removing the temp directory. So now I have removed 5 directories. So now just start the restoring process by giving reboot. Once it's rebooted, again go to the boot menu 
and boot the pen drive. So now I am going to choose the restore option to restore the image to this CentOS hard disk. So just click restore and at first it will ask for the source drive. So here the source drive is where the image is taken. So here the source drive is drive 1 uh, 500 GB hard disk. So I am selecting the drive and click next. So here we need to restore the image uh, that is we need to select the image. So here I am selecting new redo backup what we have taken before and click open. So now the image is selected and give next. So here we need to specify the destination device that is where to be restored. So I am selecting CentOS hard disk and click next. So now it will ask for the confirmation. So give S yes. and now the restore process is started. So when the once the backup is restored you will get the pop-up window like uh, the backup restored and the time it taken to restore. So just give exit and now we need to check the uh, deleted contents are restored or not so again go to boot menu and now boot the CentOS so I am booting the CentOS hard disk once the OS is booted I am going to slash directory and while listing I, I can see that the removed directories home lib mnt opt and tmp directories are restored successfully so thus by using the redo backup tool i have successfully restored my deleted data within few minutes so thanks for watching this video